in this video I want to make builders homeowners and um, anyone else who's planning on framing anything aware of something that might be frowned upon by an engineer and when I say that uh, when I used to do a lot of building you were not allowed to notch the bottom of a floor joist and what you're looking at here is the side view of a floor joist and a floor beam so the floor beam would basically be supporting the floor joist and I went ahead and I just instead of putting a hanger on the floor joist I put a nailer on the bottom um, to support the the floor joist and again this isn't a practice that's commonly used but uh, in order for these uh, videos to make any sense I should say at least to me I went ahead and put a nailer on the bottom so that uh, it might make a little more sense what I'm trying to talk about here. As long as the floor joist is not notched on the bottom and is being fully supported by a hanger or a beam, if the floor joist was actually sitting on top of a beam being supported or if it was on top of a nailer, you could basically um, you'd basically basically be using the entire width of the floor joist for example if it's a 2 by 12 floor joist and you have not notched the bottom of it then you would be using the full width of the floor joist now here's something that could be a problem and uh, I just received an email from someone who's concerned because they had a home built using the method I'm about to show you, even though I'm not going to use their pictures, um, I would like to make people aware of the problem if you notch the bottom of your floor joist. And here's an example of what I'm referring to. I went ahead and moved the nailer up two inches into the floor joist. So basically the floor joist would have notched around uh, the nailer instead of going underneath it and of course you could uh, see that if the beam was small if you're using a 4x12 beam you obviously wouldn't be able to nail a a nailer on the bottom of it if you were using 2x12 joists you could do it if you were using 2x8s but obviously you wouldn't be able to do that if the beam was the same size or relatively um, you know, same size as the floor joists now here's the problem, and um, this is a biggie. If you notch the bottom of your floor joist, you will reduce the structural strength of the floor joist. For example, if you have a 2 by 12 floor joist and you notch 2 inches out of the bottom, like this illustration here, then you would have reduced the structural strength of that particular floor joist down to a 2 by 10. Um, now, if you notch the top, it wouldn't be the same. But if you notch the bottom, then um, it could be a big problem. Now, don't take this information to heart. This is information I worked with for a long time. Things do change. You, I advise you to check with a structural engineer if you run into this type of situation because it could be a, a biggie. This could be a real problem.